The Department of Justice has charged 61 people for their alleged involvement in multi-million dollar IRS impersonation scams. Callers impersonated officials from the IRS and other federal agencies in order to get money for made-up government debts. 15,000 people fell victim to the scams, resulting in the theft of an estimated $50 million. CBS News Justice reporter Paula Reed is in Washington. So, Paula, how exactly did this scam play out? Who was targeted? <coughs> Elaine, a lot of people know family or friends who were targeted in this scheme, and some of them, in fact, became victims. In this scheme, there were call centers in India that would reach out to people here in the United States, potential victims that they had vetted and got a little information on. And they would either pose as an official from the Department of Homeland Security and threaten that person with deportation. They were often targeting recent immigrants or they would pose as someone from the IRS and threaten someone saying you haven't paid income tax and if you don't pay it right now, we're gonna to come to your door and arrest you. Now, if these people paid, if they gave them the money, the call centers in India would reach out to associates here in the US who would then put all that money on prepaid debit cards, making it very difficult to trace. That's why there are arrests both in India and here in the US. And as Elaine, as you noted, tens of thousands of people fell victim to this and there were hundreds of millions of dollars lost. And Paula, how much did the government do to warn people that these scam artists were impersonating federal officials? Elaine, that's a great question. I asked uh, DOJ officials, Department of Justice officials, that at a press conference because I cover uh, these federal agencies and the first time I ever heard of this was when victims were sharing their stories on Facebook and social media. They said that they did public service announcements, they ran ads, they also did online outreach. But it appears that these scammers were much more adept at seeking out and targeting their victims than federal officials were at warning potentially vulnerable populations, particularly immigrants and the elderly. Well, does the DOJ expect this sweep to end the scam? No, it'll put a dent in, in this operation. Uh, they hope that it will serve as somewhat of a deterrent, especially the fact that they were able to arrest so many people in a foreign country. But ultimately, what was going on here in the U.S., just putting this money on prepaid debit cards, Elaine, that's not terribly sophisticated uh, kind of conduct. These people are easily replaceable, and it's likely this scam will continue. But again, they're hoping this will serve as a deterrent or even drum up some more press to prevent more victims. And Paula, lastly, does the U.S. plan to seek extradition of people from India? Absolutely. And that's all part of the deterrent. We've seen in other high-profile cases where they've charged people in other countries, but there's no chance they'll ever be extradited here. Not much of a deterrent. But in this case, they're absolutely going to press for the extradition of these individuals, bring them here, and they hope to put them behind bars for a long time.